Hey, how you doing there, my dear friends? It's Dan. I'm in beautiful, beautiful Lake Susie, Florida. <laughs> it's, it's spectacular here. And I say that because I like using the word spectacular. But, but anyhow, good to see you. Hey, I got a little thought for you um, about miracles, about miracles. Occasionally people will object to uh, the miracles that, are, uh, that we find in the Bible. And um, they may explain that uh, this kind of thing is just silly. I mean, this is ridiculous. They, they bring up the point that these things are, are physically impossible. They might suggest, like, uh, we know now, we, we live in a time in which we know that these kinds of events can't actually occur. Like, you know, they approach it sort of like with a, come on. <laughs> if a person objects to miracles and, and questions how, how could any educated person believe in, the, like I have a master's degree, Dan, you're educated. How could you believe in this kind of silly thing? Um, I don't feel any inclination to argue about the matter with anyone. I don't, um, first of all, I, I don't think anybody's going to change their minds from that. <laughs> so I don't, but also at the most fundamental level, so you have to understand an objection to miracles really isn't even about the miracles. Not really. Like they may say, well, you know, walking on water or somebody swallowed by a giant fish. It, it's not about that. It's not about, oh, oh don't, don't get me wrong. I understand that some of the miracles that are described in the Bible are, are extraordinary. They, they probably even accurately fall into the category of this is hard to believe. But in a way, that's really kind of the point. <laughs> that's what, see, but what, what I'm getting at is the most basic issue here is not about the miracles. That's not the real question. The real issue is God. You see what I mean? God is the nature of God, the characteristics of God, really, in a way, even the existence of God. Are you tracking with me? Are you? See, the real question is, does God exist? That's the issue. The, the God that's described in the Bible, this God who is all-powerful, all-knowing, this God who is uh, omnipotent, uh, the, the, this God who has no beginning and no end, he's eternal, he's infinite, does this God exist? really exist like what do you believe what do you really believe does God exist because for the God that we find in the Bible um, what we think of as miracles that wouldn't be impossible and in fact for God it wouldn't even be a miracle <laughs> for you and I yeah it qualifies as, as miraculous but for God it's just it's just him reaching into his creation and doing something that he's decided to do. You see, I like believing in miracles. I do. I, I like, to me, it's a hopeful, it's, I, I like believing that something unexpected and something extraordinary could actually happen, that, that something unpredictable, it really even that something supernatural could occur. I like that. I like believing that. That's hopeful to me. But then again, I know that there's a God. So I don't have any problem believing in miracles. <laughs>